Beer Tip of the Week is brought to you by TheBeerRian.com, the first and only blog focusing on Christians who love beer. Hey, I'm Brandon, and you're watching the Beer Tip of the Week. <laughs> beer, 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 beer. Welcome to Beer Tip of the Week. My name's Greg Qualls, and I'm your host. Beer Tip of the Week is designed for the person out there who wants to do more than just drink their beer, but enjoy their beer drinking experience. Each week I bring you a simple tip to help you improve your beer drinking experience. This week I'd like to share with you probably the most fundamental, basic tip for enjoying your beer more, and that's using a glass. So the reality is if you're drinking your beer from nothing but a bottle or, God forbid, a can, you're cutting off a lot of your senses. You're cutting off your sense of touch, your sense of sight, your sense of sound, and your sense of smell. If you're drinking just from a bottle, you're doing nothing but being able to just taste the beer. And even then, you're cutting off some of that, as we'll explain in a second. But whenever you use a glass, like this one right here, you're able to, of course, taste the beer, which is probably the main thing we all want to do, but you're also able to touch. You're able to touch the glass. You're able to touch the beer bottle as it goes in there. You're able to feel the temperature through there. Um, I know a lot of this is stuff that you can do through a bottle, but all the bottles are the same. And the fact is, each beer is supposed to have a different type of glass to go with it. We'll talk about this in a little bit. But, so you get touch. You also get sight. Um, for example, let me grab one here I got prepared already. Aha! Sight. You're able to see the color of the beer. You're able to see the bubbles coming up. Whenever it's first poured, you're able to see that nice head on top. It just adds more to the experience than seeing that standard brown, green, or clear bottle. So, you're able to see it, and it just looks kind of prettier, you know? It looks more regal, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. The other thing is you can hear it. You get to hear the beer being poured in there. Um, you can probably hear the bubbles. As you drink more and more, you hear a lot of other things, but that might not necessarily be due to the beer itself. That just might be due to drinking too much beer. Anyways. But most importantly, what you get to do is you get to smell your beer. Whenever you pour it into a glass, it lets out all the aromas. It also has an open top to let you smell these things. With a beer bottle or with a can, that's closed off. You don't get to really smell that. It's like drinking a soda through a straw. You don't really smell your soda. Um, and what this does actually is it actually hinders your ability to taste the beer. Chefs have known this for years, that the majority of your taste is actually influenced by your smell. So if you're not able to smell your beer, you're actually not tasting what that beer really tastes like. You're cutting it off. I actually have a few beers that um, I still don't drink in a glass because I don't like the taste of them whenever they're in a glass. Um, but I do prefer the taste of them from a bottle. I know that's kind of backwards from what we're talking about right now, and I know there's some other beers out there that I have tried that I don't like them when they're in a bottle, but whenever I pour them in a glass, I'm able to smell them and they taste so much better. So pour it into a glass. So that's your beer tip of the week. Use a glass. I mean, it's the first one, it's the basic, it's the foundation of starting to enjoy your beer. Everything builds off of this. Um, I said earlier the fact that each beer has a different glass that goes with it. Um, to start off with, just use a glass. If it's a nice Pilsner glass like this, go for it. And if all you have is a red Dixie cup, which I imagine you probably do, use that. What it does is it allows you to smell the beer. Um, if you want to learn more about what glass to go with what beer, um, I'll put some links in the show notes. Um, just go to thebeerrean.com. Um, that's thebeerrean.com. Link at the bottom of the screen right now. Other than that, that's been your beer tip of the week. I'm Greg Qualls, your host. Remember, whether you eat or drink, do it all to the glory of God. Until next time, I'm going to enjoy beer.
Yeah. The reality is you're cutting off a lot of your senses that you could use to experience that beer. Now, there's sight, there's touch, there's taste, there's sound, and there's sight touch. I need to just write these down so 